Good, hello, uh, Afrim. Uh, I had a look at uh, this whoops thing you told me, you sent me, uh, and uh, I didn't. I just kind of read the documentation, had a look at the demo, and I never really used this one or had seen it before. It seems like uh, it gives you a lot of information. Uh, but I had uh, on my list of things to integrate. I had actually this one, uh, PHP debug bar. So uh, I had a look at this one. I integrated it with Corbus, which was rather easy. And I wanted to show that to you, show you how, how it looks, and uh, and how how I integrated it. The idea is that you who that you where you have experience about this whoops can compare and tell me uh, and maybe even create an integration similar to what I did here and we can compare and decide which one to use okay um, this debug bar as you can see down here below it appears here it gives me a if I click on this it opens up I have here a message tab a request tab where I get all the information about all the cookies and the things that are and that are going in and out we have a timeline and we have an exceptions tab uh, here it gives me the memory consumption of the page the time it took to load and that's it uh, okay so I integrated this on the list view so if I go to any list view okay nice if I go to any list view you see here that I can I sent a message. Here I have this debug here where I we use where we we now you can see the list view the list query and it uh, kind of just sends it to the screen. What I did was add it to this uh, this message tab. So instead we could actually get rid of this uh, thing here and just send it here, which is very nice and very clean. Again, we have all the requests going up and I have a timeline. I set up a timeline where uh, it tells me exactly how much time it, ta it took 666 milliseconds of the 960 were spent processing the information of the list view. I'll show you that right now. And then I uh, produced an exception on the list view here on this line. It shows me the context of the exception, the code where it is, and the full stack of the call so I can see uh, how I got there actually okay uh, how does this look in the code let's have a quick look I'll send you the diff anyway so you can uh, so you can compare and probably maybe use that also for yourself basically here in the list view no sorry well, let's leave this one open because that one has the debug message here in the header uh, I added the um, uh, the debug, uh, yeah, the debugger here to the composer. I did the composer update, and then I include the autoloader. I include the standard debugger, and here at the bottom, I add these lines of code, which is basically load the uh, load the class, uh, get the JavaScript render. I set the offset of uh, where it is because it needs to know where the JavaScript files are. I add the hello world message here which is the one that we see here this hello world here then I send the header JavaScript to the template okay on the template I just I'll put this uh, I just I'll put that I mean really really simple templates header template where are you header template I just I'll put that here just I mean just just spit it out I mean no, there's nothing there Okay, so basically, uh, with these lines, okay, lost that one. Okay, here in the header, let's fix that one. Uh, okay, basically these these lines of code. Okay, then in the footer, I also had to add this one, the echo debug render at the end, which basically really launches all the work. Okay, th that is the integration. Anyway, I'll send you the the diff. And here in the list view, which is where I did uh, kind of more testing, uh, I added. Here at the start, I do this debug time start measure, which is for the timeline. At the end, obviously, I finish that. Okay, down here, I do the stop measure. So that is the timeline we see here. this timeline here so very nice and very easy to to do 
And then I have the exception, which I'm throwing here, which I'm just throwing the exception. I mean, not just, just. You add an exception with the exception. So obviously, if this is in a try catch, it would do its magic perfectly. And then I have a message here uh, with the list query. Okay, here we have the global variable that outputs the list query. And here I send that debug bar message. I add the message to the list query. So, I mean, as you can see, it's really, really easy to use and really easy to integrate also. I mean, I didn't have to do much. I mean, it was just kind of learning a little bit how it goes. I think it's really nice in the sense that it uh, kind of plays well with the way we do debugging in Corvus right now because we already send the var dumps and all of these things to the to the screen. So it would be just about this. Uh, we still need to do the Ajax integration here if we do this one. I don't know because I didn't do that one yet. This is just, this is all uh, back end stuff, but it's all very well documented. In fact, the documentation is is pretty good, pretty pretty good, and uh, better than uh, than the, the documentation I could find out on Whoops. Uh, and it does a whole bunch of things. I don't know. I mean, it can you know it has collectors for monologue. I don't know. Uh, I had already seen uh, this one. I had already played with it. I had already uh, seen it in some other projects. And more or less, uh, I knew how it was. It was just on my to-do list forever because it wasn't really that important. Uh, but since you proposed this one, uh, integrating this one with Corvus, uh, I thought it was time to just kind of you know do it and see how it looked. So what I would like you to do is, now having seen how this one works, show me if or or give me your opinion because i don't really know this one and i started looking at the the, the documentation that didn't really tell me anything at all i mean the docs were kind of all high level happy kind of stuff and integrate with this and that i mean there's no where where you can like here you I mean this one is just installation quick start it gives you the steps and you copy the code you put it it just kind of works uh this one i found very hard to understand uh, anyway uh, uh, have a look and and let me know what you think thanks for the thanks for the recommendation speak soon